I love MagSafe battery packs. They're one of the easiest ways to charge your iPhone, especially when you're traveling or at a conference. Just put one on the back of your iPhone and it automatically begins charging. They're even handy for charging AirPods. You just put them right on there and my AirPods have begun charging. I even just like having them around the house. If you have friends or family over and their iPhone starts dying, just tell them to put this on the back of their iPhone. They don't have to be tethered to the wall and they can just use their iPhone like normal and it's already charging. So there are a few options out there from Anchor. You have Apple's own MagSafe battery pack that they sell, and there's a Mophie MagSafe battery pack. But I think these are four of the best. I'm gonna give you some pros and cons of all of them, and why I think Apple's MagSafe battery pack, I know a lot of people didn't like it when it came out. I think it's actually one of the best options. The first is the Anchor 621 MagSafe battery pack. It's pretty thin, has a USB-C connector on the bottom, and little lights that tell you what the charge level is. This is a feature that most MagSafe battery packs that the Apple one does not are those little lights. And so when you press the button, you can see the charge level right there. You'll get about 60 to 70% of your battery charge if your iPhone was completely dead. But if it's just low 20 or 30%, it'll probably get pretty close to 90 something. Again, low profile, you can get the different colors. And if you really wanted to, you could actually plug in the Anchor battery pack via USB-C and it will continue charging the iPhone as well. So if you're traveling and you just wanna bring USB-C cables, this is a way to do it and still be able to charge your iPhone at night. One of the downsides to all of these MagSafe battery packs besides the Apple one is you don't get any battery widget or something in the control center that tells you the percentage. You have to rely on those four dots on the bottom. So again, this is the Anchor 621. It's about $40 on Amazon and I'll put a link in the video description. Now the next one is a Mophie MagSafe battery pack. This one is $50, so $10 more. It's still 5,000 milliamp hours, just like the other Anchor ones. It is much taller and you'll see it on the back of my iPhone in a second, but it has the same USB-C connector and the lights on the bottom to see the charge level. Also has a USB-C connector just like the Anchor one and you can see the charge right there. Now because this is a taller MagSafe battery pack, there's actually a notch here so there's room for the camera cutout on the back of the iPhone. Now when I put it on my iPhone 14 Pro, you'll see that notch is right there on the camera so the battery fits. You can tell it's just as wide as the Anchor one but it's a little taller the issue is if you're using this with a 14 Pro, 13 Pro, or 12 Pro, it's gonna get in the way of that bottom camera. You see, this is the 1X lens on the 14 Pro. If I put the Mophie MagSafe battery pack on, you'll see the bottom there gets a little shaded because it's obscuring the lens. If I take it off, you'll see it clears up. So if you have a 14 Pro Max or a 13 Pro Max, it probably won't get in the way of the camera because the phone is bigger, but just keep that in mind if you're looking at the Mophie one. Again, the Anchor and Mophie are both 5,000 milliamp hours, so you'll get about the same battery life. Just a matter of aesthetics, this one kind of has a fabric-y matte finish. This is more of a slick, but it's still pretty grippy, and the Anchor one comes in multiple colors. 50 bucks, 40 bucks. Links in the video description. Now, this next one is also from Anchor. This is the Anchor 622. The cool thing about this one, it actually has a built-in kickstand, so you can use this with your iPhone, prop it up while you're charging your battery. It's still the same 5,000 milliamp hours as the other batteries, attach it to the iPhone. Because it's a little thicker, your iPhone will feel a little bulkier, but again, if you wanna use that little kickstand, slides down, magnetically attaches, and now my iPhone can stand up on its own. That's pretty cool. The Anchor 622 is usually around $60, so $10 more than the Mophie, but sometimes you can get it on sale, even all the way down to $45. Now this next one's gonna be a little controversial. This is Apple's MagSafe battery pack. It's the most expensive of the bunch at $100, and it doesn't have the same capacity as the others. Apple's MagSafe battery pack is only about 1400 milliamp hours, which seems really small compared to the 5000 of the other battery packs. But it actually has a higher voltage and can charge the iPhone with better efficiency. So there's some asterisks on those milliamp hours. When it comes to thinness, Apple's MagSafe battery pack is gonna be on par with that Anchor Thin one, and it's even shorter. So it's definitely compact and will work well with something like an iPhone 14 Pro or iPhone 14. Fits nicely under the camera bump, and it's very sturdy. I would say Apple's MagSafe battery pack has the strongest and most sturdy magnets of any of the ones that I talked about. Now, unfortunately, there are no lights on the bottom to tell you the charge level of Apple's MagSafe battery pack, but because it's Apple's MagSafe battery pack, you do get its percentage in the battery widgets when you put it on your home screen or even your lock screen. You do have to connect it to your iPhone to see what the charge level is at, but it's nice that you get the actual numeric percentage here in a widget. Now, Apple's MagSafe battery pack can actually be charged if you plug in your iPhone or you can charge the iPhone by plugging in the MagSafe battery pack. With all the USB-C packs, you have to plug in the USB-C in order to charge the pack and the phone. But with Apple's MagSafe battery pack, you can plug in your iPhone to a charger and it will reverse wirelessly charge the MagSafe battery pack. Or if you prefer, you could plug in the MagSafe battery pack and you'll get 15 watt charging directly to the iPhone. And as you can see here, even though I have the battery pack plugged in, it's actually going to intelligently charge the phone since the battery pack is already at 100%. 
Apple's MagSafe battery pack also works with AirPods as well. So you can charge your AirPods. If you wanna bring this to a hotel and just use it as your charger for AirPods and iPhone, you could do that and then bring it with you when you need more battery on the conference room floor. Also, if you have Apple's MagSafe battery attached, go to your control center and long press on the battery icon, and then you'll see the charge past 90%. If you wanna make sure it'll charge the phone as much as possible no matter what, go ahead and check that when you have it connected. Now with Apple's MagSafe battery pack, if you have an iPhone 14 Pro or 14, 13 Pro or 13, you'll get about 60% battery from this battery pack. If your iPhone was completely dead, you'll get to about 60%. If you have a larger iPhone like a Pro Max, you're only gonna get to about 40%. So it does not have as much capacity as some of the other batteries, but because it's more efficiently charging and you get the nice widgets with the percentage in it, I really do like Apple's MagSafe one. I just wish it wasn't $100. If it was like 70 or less, I would highly, highly recommend this one. But if you don't have any MagSafe battery packs and you wanna get one just to have around the house or you're traveling, I highly recommend the Anchor one, 40 bucks, 5,000 milliamp hours. You can get it in multiple colors. You really can't go wrong. It's nice just to have. And once you get one, you're probably gonna want another. If you have the funds and you can get Apple's MagSafe one, it is a really nice experience. Charges AirPods, you see it in the widget. And a lot of times, because the iPhone 14 Pro battery has been a little spotty, I've just been throwing on Apple's MagSafe battery pack kind of at the end of the day. And it's nice not to have to be tethered to a wall. So those are my top four MagSafe battery packs. You can find links to all of them in the video description. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the Bearded Teacher channel. Have lots of iPhone tips in the shorts of this channel as well. And let me know what you would like to see in a comment below, maybe about focus modes, iOS 16, or some of the new Apple devices from this fall. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.